Now to Ukraine's ongoing counteroffensive against Russia, the intense fighting leading to small gains for Ukrainians as more troops train to take on those Russian forces. NBC's Raf Sanchez is in Kharkiv as Ukrainian special forces start to fight trench by trench. And a warning, this video may be disturbing. Tonight, Ukrainian forces releasing this footage of close quarters combat. Commandos in intense gun battles, trench by trench, shooting Russian soldiers. The video blurred because of its graphic nature. Two weeks in, Ukraine's counteroffensive is gaining ground, but slowly and at a cost. This assault with tanks and self-destructing drones leading to the liberation of a hamlet in Zaporizhia. Ukraine's flag raised for the first time since it fell under Russian occupation more than a year ago. But right now, progress is being measured in small villages, not cities. Russian forces are dug in and bringing their superior air power to the fight. Ukrainian troops also advancing through fields of Russian landmines like this. But Ukraine has a new tool in its arsenal. And it comes from the U.S. These troops are simulating loading up onto an American-made MRAP. This is a mine-resistant vehicle supplied by the United States, and it's designed to protect Ukrainian troops as they pass through waves of Russian minefields. Each vehicle weighs 14 tons, and the U.S. has given Ukraine more than 500 of them since the start of the war. And though this driver hasn't had American training, he used Google to fill in the blanks. We searched for about five days to find the air conditioning, he says. These troops are from the Hurricane Brigade of Ukraine's National Guard. They're a mixture of combat veterans and new recruits, and they're practicing the kind of trench warfare they'll face when they join the counteroffensive. Are these men ready to fight for real in the East? Yes, they're ready to some extent, he says. They've gone through almost four weeks of training and still have a little more to go. This officer, codenamed Genie, is one of the unit's veterans. Before the war, you were helping people learn English, and now you're fighting full-time. Yeah. Did you ever imagine this would be your life? Um, no, I, I never dreamed of it, you know, in this way. Uh, but uh, in 2014, it was obvious. I, I cannot stand, stay away from this. Do you feel that there will ever be peace here? Yes, of course, when we're going to kill all Russians. When you win? <laughs> yes. How long do you think that will take? Uh, it doesn't matter how long it will take. We need to stop them. Ordinary people taking up arms and determined to fight for as long as it takes. And Raf Sanchez joins us now from Kharkiv, Ukraine. Raf, we go back to the big picture here. How concerned are the people there in Ukraine where you are about, you know, sort of the slow progress of this counteroffensive? Yeah, Aaron. Well, publicly, Ukrainian officials are putting a brave face on this. President Zelensky said earlier tonight that whether it's sooner or whether it's later, the blue and yellow flag of Ukraine is once again going to be flying all over the south and the east of this country. It is also worth saying that at this point, two weeks or so into this offensive, it is just too early to judge whether it has been a success or a failure. And that's because we've yet to see the Ukrainians mount an all-out assault on one part of the Russian lines and really kind of push all their chips to the middle of the table. Aaron. And Raf, I understand, too, that Ukraine says it hit several Russian ammunition depots. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Ukrainian officials are saying that they used long-range weapons to hit these Russian depots deep behind enemy lines. You saw just these enormous plumes of smoke visible for miles in every direction. We don't know exactly which weapons the Ukrainians used, but analysts are taking this as a sign that the Ukrainians are getting increasingly sophisticated at carrying out these kind of long-range strikes. Aaron. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.